According to the paper, The Transformer Historical Review 1988 by John Cotman, the Transformer is an instrument that has been invented in the late 19th century. Transformer is a crucial component in electrical whole system and play an important role in a lot of applications. Cotman emphasized the importance of Transformer in enabling the efficient distribution of electric power. The Transformer itself converts electricity from a low current and high voltage to a high current and low voltage and vice versa with minimum energy losses. Electric power is transmitted most efficiently at high voltage, but it is best generated and used at low voltage. It's because when the transmitter there is a power losses in the transmission line. So without transformer, the distance between power generators and consumer would need to be minimized because when generated at low voltage and transmitted, so between the transmission it will be lost. It is also integral to various electrical devices that rely on electricity such as fan and also the lamp. To summarize, the transformer are important in modern society. It's because the transformer enable efficient transmission and distribution of electric power, making electricity widely accessible in modern day. This video will give will give a brief explanation of auto transformer, current transformer, and potential transformer, and give a um, brief video about the transformer. First is the definition. As said by Waldemar in his paper that auto transformer is a transformer that when the primary and secondary voltage are obtained obtained from a single winding or two winding that galvanically connected. The picture show the difference between a two winding transformer and auto transformer. We can see that the two winding transformer has two winding beside each other, and the auto transformer only has one winding that can produce two voltage, primary and secondary. Hence, for the construction of the auto transformer, the for the three space auto transformer based on the research paper, the novel design of three phase auto transformer, the author suggests modeling the auto transformer by five aspects as below. First, the core design. The automate auto transformer utilizes a toroidal core with a residual gap in the magnetic path. Plus, the core design aims to reduce in rush current and improve cooling. It also incorporate UI elimination for enhanced performance and cost reduction. Next is the winding. The auto transformer consists of three phase winding. The primary and secondary winding are implemented using a copper conductor. This number of turns in winding is determined based on the desired voltage transmission ratio and rated voltage. Next, the T connected auto transformer model. The proposed design employs a T connected auto transformer model which utilizes two single phase transformer. This configuration helps in reduce the space volume weight requirement of the auto transformer. The core dimension. Core is the way the winding takes place. So, the dimension include parameters such as A, B, C, and D. And more for more detailed explanation, you can look uh, for the research paper that I have put on the reference. And uh, lastly, the design step. The this step include the calculation of KVA rating, cross sectional area of the core, current in the winding, area of the conductor, number of primary turn, and dimension of the winding. For the more detailed explanation. You can also look at the research paper. So this is the application of the auto transformer. There is four application based on the second reference that I put and reference. Uh, first variable out ratio auto transformer. Second booster third as a furnace transformer and auto auto starter. According to the book Electrical Machine by S K Sahdev. The working principle of an transformer are as follows. For the end of the transformer is a type of transformer with a single winding and a tap along its length. It operates based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Unlike conventional transformer, <coughs> the transformer has a portion of the winding shared by both the primary and secondary circuit. When AC voltage is applied at the primary side, a magnetic field is created in the shared portion of the winding. This magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary circuit. This voltage induces in the second circuit depends on the turns ratio between the primary and secondary winding. Next, the auto transformer allows for voltage stepping up or stepping down by adjusting the tap position along the winding. If the tap is closer to the input, the output voltage will be higher than the input voltage. Conversely, if the tap is closer to the input, the output voltage will be lower than the input voltage. A current transformer CT is used to measure AC current. It produces AC current in its secondary, which is proportional to the AC current in its primary. Current transformers, along with voltage or potential transformers, are instrument transformers. Current transformers are designed to provide a scaled down replica of the current in the HV line and isolate the measuring instruments, meters, and relays from the high voltage power circuit.
A CT basically has a primary coil of one or more tens of heavy cross-sectional area. In some, the bulk carrying high current may act as a primary. This is connected in series with the line carrying high current. The secondary of the current transformer is made up of a large number of tens of fine wire having a small cross-sectional area. This is usually rated as 5 ampere. This is connected to the coil of normal range emitter. These transformers are basically step-up transformer. Thus, the current reduced from primary to secondary. So from the current POV, the step-down transformer, stepping down the current value considerably from primary to secondary. Let N1 be number of primary turns, N2 be number of secondary turns, I1 be primary current and I2 secondary current. For a transformer, I1 over I2 equal to N2 over N1. As N2 is very high compared to N1, the ratio I1 to I2 is also very high for current transformer. The current ratio is indicated for representing the range of the current transformer. For example, consider a 500 equal to 5 range, then it indicates the city steps down the current from primary to secondary by a ratio 500 to 5. CT are widely used to measure current and monitor the operation of the power grid. It also power the electrical utilities for our meter. CT can be installed on a power transformer's low or high voltage leads. It are uh, also installed as a stack for various uses. And it can be installed on polymer insulators to insulate them from the ground. The example of application here is the protection for high voltage line and substation, protection for capacitor banks, protection for power transformer and revenue metering. We have identified a problem and solution from the research. So here the problem is that cities experience errors despite manufacturers using a nominal ratio slightly different from the tense ratio. Errors, especially under the condition like core partial saturation and in reproducing primary current. So what is the solution? The solution they propose is that software-based compensation method to mitigate city errors. It involves acquiring instantaneous secondary current and adjusting it with magnetizing current considering hysteresis effects. So for the next research, the problem here is that they need for an accurate CT model suitable for low frequency application. So the proposed model incorporates a hysteresis model. The classic eddy current losses and anomalous losses are represented using linear and unlinear resistor respectively. The results obtained from the proposed model are compared with those presets model and measurement in the laboratory. And for the last research, the problem is that when a current transformer saturates while transforming heavy primary current, significant error occur during saturated periods impacting the accuracy of the transform signal. So what is the solution? They have proposed simple and efficient method to detect instance of saturation and moments when saturation ends. It introduced a method to predict up to three samples of the saturation with an acceptable degree of accuracy. It also involves estimating the values of the fundamental frequency component, amplitude, and the decaying DC component in each period. Okay, now moving on to the last transformer, the potential transformer, also known as the voltage transformer. It is an instrument transformer designed to step down high voltage to a standardized lower voltage. Its primary purpose is to provide an isolated low voltage secondary signal, which is a highly accurate replica of the primary high voltage. The secondary signal is for low voltage measuring instruments such as voltmeter and wattmeter and protective relaying devices. The low signal will enable the safe and efficient monitoring and control of the power system. There are various applications for potential transformer. First is for metering and billing, second protective relay systems, third is for voltage transformation through electromagnetic induction or even through capacitive coupling, lastly is for transformer ratio correction and also electrical substations. Now we look at the working principle of potential transformer. It operates on the fundamental principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. 
potential transformer made up of two primary windings and one secondary winding as you can see from the figure the primary winding is connected in parallel to the high voltage line that needs to be stepped down while the secondary winding is linked to a measuring device for the measurement of voltage or power in the circuit so how does potential transformer works when a high ac voltage is applied to the primary winding it generates a magnetic field around it this magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding at a reduced value and because the secondary winding is constructed with a large number of turns of conducting wire, this will facilitate the step down of voltage to a lower level. Okay, next we look at the existing works on potential transformer. The first research paper is about capacitive voltage transformer, CVT. The problem they discuss is the high transient response which result in output voltage deviating from the input voltage. So the solution that they come up with is to increase the capacitance of CVT which allow it to store more energy which in turn reduces the rate of change of the output voltage during transient events. As you can see from the first graph, uh, the CVT with a high capacitance have a lower transient response as compared to the CVT with a normal capacitance. The second solution is to incorporate the CVT with passive ferroresonance suppression circuits which can effectively mitigate the impact of ferroresonance oscillations. As you can see from the second graph where the CVT with use the passive circuit has a lower transient response as compared to the CVT that use active circuit. Okay, for the second research paper, discussing the challenges in the development of 1000 kV ultra high voltage power grid, including the limitation of traditional transformer and also the impact of leakage reactants. So the solution that they come up with is to introduce the series standard potential transformer to overcome the limitation of traditional SPT and also to use compensating method uh, involving connecting capacitance in series with the primary windings of HVIT to mitigate accuracy issues from leakage reactants. The third paper is about ResNet50. The problem is a reliable fault diagnosis method is needed to ensure the proper functioning of voltage transformers in the power grid. So the solution is the application of ResNet50 neural network which is a deep learning architecture known for its effectiveness in image recognition tasks. Uh, is adapted for diagnosing faults in voltage transformers. The ResNet50 network can also be trained using voltage fault signals uh, which enable it to learn the characteristics associated with different fault types. So for our discussion, we have discussed the importance of construction of transformers specifically focusing on auto transformers, current transformers and potential transformers. It explains their definition, construction, working principle and application. The content also highlights the significance of academic research in transformer technology for innovation, efficiency and sustainability in the electrical engineering field. Several references are provided to support the information presented. Research done by academics is super important for making transformers better, contributing to innovation, efficiency and sustainability in the electrical engineering field. They work hard to explore new materials, design methodologies, and operational strategies that enhance the performance of transformers. All of this effort leads to transformers that are more reliable, use less energy, and are cheaper to make. The good thing is that this research doesn't just make transformers better, but it is also helped to solve current problems. Like, it improves the power transmission efficiency, minimizing energy losses and enhancing the resilience of electrical grids. All of this is really important to keep up with our growing need for electricity and to make sure our power supply is stable and safe.